Local leaders have tried to build a vision for the future of economic development in the Brainerd Lakes area. Central Lakes College in Brainerd hosted a forum tonight to discuss, actually Wednesday night, to discuss how the area should grow in the next 25 years. Shane Lee speaks with panel participants. Five economic minds gathered to answer questions about the Lakes area's economic future. To grow and expand. The Rosenmeyer Center for State and Local Government at Central Lakes College assembled the panel. Participants consisted of the Brainerd City Planner, an engineer, two economic development specialists, and the local Chamber of Commerce director. The goal was to share about the economic development opportunities in our community, not only today, but into the future. The panel reached a consensus that one problem holding the Lakes area back is a lack of vision for the future. The area needs to develop a game plan for local leaders to follow instead of fulfilling needs with short-term fix-ups will help to put the energy of all the, the groups and the entities, the organizations, the governmental uh, elected officials moving in a common direction. One idea discussed by multiple panelists was that of economic gardening. Successful communities are ones that improve the quality of life there and make cities want, make businesses actually want to locate and build in that city. Marone says one way to make Brainerd more attractive is to change the infrastructure. He wants more sidewalks and narrower streets with bike lanes painted on them. You slow down the traffic, you add another mode of transportation for people, you make the neighborhoods more livable, and for a very small investment, you dramatically increase property values in a short period of time. Heverkamp agrees the Brainerd area needs to help itself and its current businesses, but she would like to see new businesses brought in as well. Heverkamp wants Brainerd to become a diverse economy by seeking several industries, including technology, manufacturing, energy, tourism, and health care. There are unique health care projects that are going to occur within our state or within the, the Midwest that we should look at possibly encouraging growth and prosperity here. The need for an economic vision is clear, but what that vision is remains cloudy. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. The panel answered questions from local public officials and area residents for nearly three hours. More than 60 people attended the forum. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.